recording your screen is a great way to teach and demonstrate. You can create lessons for a flipped learning experience or make tutorials that capture the action on your monitor. There are multiple choices such as Camtasia, Adobe Captivate, and Jing. On a Chromebook, many of these will not work because they require installation or Java. Screencastify is great because it is an extension in Chrome. It works out of the box, is easy to use, integrates with Google Drive, and is completely free. So once you're ready to record, go up to your Chrome tab and click on the Screencastify icon. You have a wide list of choices to make. Capture tab will record just the current browser that is open. Desktop will record your entire screen. If you plan on referencing a PowerPoint or something saved directly onto your computer, you want to make sure you have this option checked. Audio can record just your microphone. So if you're narrating a lesson or explaining a concept using the microphone in your computer or one that you've attached. System audio will record the sounds that come from your browser. So if you're showing a video in the middle of your lesson and you want the audio from the video to be captured, then you need to click System Audio as well. Embed webcam shows a small box with your webcam recording you on the bottom right. This can be used to humanize the lesson that is being captured. Click More to change the tab size, max frame rate, and whether or not you want to show your mouse cursor. I would recommend using the max frame rate possible to ensure a smoother recording. Once you have the options checked off that you need, go ahead and click Start Recording. I can choose either to record the entire screen or I can choose to record my current web browser. So I'm going to click Google Chrome and Share. The tab comes up on the top to show you that you're currently recording. I have my resolution, my frames per second, and it shows that I'm not recording the system audio. So let's go into one of my collections. So as I'm studying this collection, I can be displaying it to my students via a projector and also recording the lesson directly to upload later on for my students who are absent or who missed the lesson.